My name is Kareem Riggins from Detroit, Michigan. Um, studied jazz at an early age. Uh, my dad's a jazz musician. So just being uh, around the music kind of inspired me to do jazz and, and uh, listen to classical and produce hip hop as well. I met Dilla, um, I want to say it was 96, at a spot called The Shelter. And it was a, a Friday night party that House Shoes used to DJ. Then I met him again with Common when he was working on some of Common stuff. And that's when we started to collaborate. And he called me to do, to play drums on uh, Fantastic Volume 2. And it was a song called To You, For You. Well, he always said that when he got on the mic, he had an altered ego. And he was not himself on the mic. He was very, um, like, flamboyant and confident. And th the Dilla that we knew, you know, away from that was very humble, very quiet, you know. So he definitely went into character on the mic and, and would battle anybody, you know. And had the, the best verse on, on most of the joints that, that he ever collabed with, you know, people like Common. He had the illest verse on Thelonious, you know, to me. On the beats, too. That's how he was on the beats, too. What do you mean? Like, he can just flip the style and go into, like, a real beast mode on the beats. He inspired me to do what I do. Like, I, I didn't want to rap before I got up with him. He made me want to start, you know, getting the pen out and getting rhythmic on the mic. Well, he would put me on a lot of records, man. Just, you know, sometimes you feel like you're in a rut and, you know, you, know, you get into a zone where you, you're not being creative. He would bring a stack of records to the crib, like, man, come on, you know, listen to these, and it would inspire me to work. And he was a, a major influence on, on my, you know, upbringing in the, in the music industry.